Lithium is a hundred percent EV based mobility as a service company catering to the corporate employee transportation segment. Think about, I mean, if you at the lowest level of abstractions like Ola or Uber, only B two B, only hundred percent electric and of course profitable. Right? Um, so that's what we are. We started in uh, October 2014. Our first uh, revenues were in uh, June of 2014, our first contract. Why we started Lithium? Um, really simple macros. We all agree that hydrocarbons are limited uh, in their supply. Um, we all agree that you know uh, renewables, science and scale have reduced the cost of renewables. 50% of the variable cost in transportation is fuel. Uh, therefore, if you were to substitute hydrocarbon with renewables, it's the next killer app. Right? And if there is no tailpipe emission as a result of using renewables, it's a fantastic thing. You get clean air as well. So both reducing transportation costs, providing uh, world-class service, and without any after-effects of pollution, those are the macros that we use. And we said, hey, you know what, you know, lithium is a great idea. We have a little over uh, 750 odd vehicles uh, already deployed and we are deploying about 100 vehicles this month. Um, we have vehicles across Bangalore, Pune, Hyderabad and uh, NCR and NCR we service both Noida and Gurkham. What we sell at Lithium is essentially productivity, right? Electric vehicles are more expensive than their IC engine counterparts, but their running costs are lower. Therefore, in order for us to provide a good value proposition to the clients, uh, we need to ensure that the vehicles are sold. We never want, to, no one buys our service because it's green, everyone buys it because it's cheaper. Therefore, as a result of that, we've got to put as many, maximize the electric miles in every car. To do that, we have to sweat the asset. They were managing the asset, scheduling the different routes, uh, scheduling the uh, uh, the charging times, and it's ensuring uptime of the charging infrastructure is very important. Um, these vehicles, our vehicles typically do between 300 to 320 kilometers a day. These are vehicles with about a 100 kilometer real range, right? Uh, when we are doing those kind of mileages, we want, we need to ensure a product uh, and uh, such a high productivity. We need to ensure asset life is managed, charger life is managed, and the driver, most important part, is never sweat. So we have a unique model in which over a 24 hour period, two drivers manage the car. Drivers are the cornerstone of every delivery. Sweating the car does not mean that we sweat the driver, right? And uh, we've heard so many more stories, both from a safety perspective. The more a driver drives, more unsafe a journey becomes. Uh, the, the lesser he drives, the more productive he could be. And driver like you and me also needs a life, has a family, right? And therefore, that's what we wanted to do that. Our proposition is unique. We ensure the family, the driver has enough family time, uh, both social mobility as well as financial inclusion. What we mean by social mobility is we've taken a lot of our drivers, at least about 50 out of our drivers, and moved them from just being a driver to now having managerial jobs at our company, right? So therefore, they get a career trajectory. So that's what we've done at least. I think electric mobility is the future, right? I think clean mobility, I mean, you know, mobility powered by clean energy is the future. Uh, given the natural arbitrage in a country like India between hydrocarbon pricing and renewable energy pricing, you know, it's a no-brainer that, you know, uh, EVs will be the future. Adoption of EVs, I think, will happen. It's not a one switch that you put on and it will automatically get adopted across segments. We've kind of demonstrated viable adoption in one segment, which is a fairly large segment. may not be as big as B2B, B2C, but B2B is as big with about a half a million vehicles in this segment. I think it makes a lot of sense. In B2B, there is buses, again, used by corporate uh, employees. So I think that would be a very good segment. Uh, last mile, first mile, I think that's a fantastic segment where 
already uh, there is price parity between IC engine, say three wheelers and electric three wheelers. So I think that's one segment. If the products are good and you know the, the auto drivers gain confidence on the product quality, I think that adoption will happen. Um, I think buses are probably for the STUs are probably the last that will happen because of the price defense between their IC engine counterparts and the electric counterparts. I, obviously the government is trying to narrow the gap through subsidies. But I, think, I don't think subsidy is the right way to do it. Um, and last segment is going to be personal mobility. I think personal mobility, though the vehicles are made with the you know the retail consumer in mind, is the most energy efficient, inefficient rather mode of transport with one passenger in one journey per car. So I think that will happen the least because the, the most rational buyers for whom the benefit of electric mobility translates into lower cost are the ones that will adopt it quicker, right? And therefore, my uh, uh, the adoption will also depend on those service providers who use the benefit of EVs and pass on this benefit to their end consumers. So, for example, what I mean by that is in uh, the IC engine compartments, price is proportional to distance because of the cost of hydrocarbon. So, when we did this service in, uh, in our B2B uh, uh, segment, we provided unlimited mileage. Therefore, we passed on some of the benefits of an EV back to our customers. Our customers save up to 40% of their transportation costs. So if other service providers are similarly can pass on some of those benefits of EVs back to their customers, for which they save money, I think the adoption would be quicker. right? Uh, and therefore, if really it's not a one-to-one -one replacement of an IC engine vehicle with an EV. If a new method to transport, though new modality is thought through, then I think the adoption will be quicker.